and bam good morning guys wherever you are on this beautiful world whenever you're watching this youtube video welcome to the bitcoin family youtube channel for the newcomers my name is didi today taking a short ta video making a short ta video for you guys on this beautiful friday morning the 3rd of february in 2023 let's see what bitcoin is doing and what i expect this weekend to happen so quickly jump into some amazing charts that you really will like bam this is the first chart guys the first chart there's my face um is the four hour chart on this four hour chart uh, we can clearly see that bitcoin is moving inside this pattern like it's going up it's coming down up down up down you see up i'm calculating the wicks now even with it so um the question now is we are at this level um are we going to continue down more and then up again or will we keep it up to here and then go up some of these uh, options that are always in bitcoin now we can see that the dollar line the next time we would uh, meet that one would be 24,300 ish at the moment we are 23,500 so that's a 1k jump from here um if we want to break that 24k level and the 24k level i think is the biggest resistance at the moment and after that there is not that much resistance left and um, if we zoom out to the chart and um, then we could go all the way up to the 29k level there at orange line and uh, all the way on the top and to be clear the last time that we flew up uh, with a huge percentage was when we saw the exact same pattern guys we saw this pattern also look we were inside this um in inside this channel you see and then we broke down out of the channel and then bam bitcoin went up so maybe that will happen again maybe we can come down and maybe then bam bitcoin will take that next huge run and this weekend because this weekend um you know that a cma gap will be created mostly because on the weekend the suits stop trading and we take over and then bitcoin sometimes com becomes more bullish and that's when we can push again through the resistance of these levels of 24k now um let's quickly go to the next one bam over here this is the gaussian channel um been talking about this one for years already now a beautiful channel that also shows us the bullish and bearish situations in bitcoin and to be very honest um this yellow line is already on the chart for a very long time i, I drew it like a couple of weeks maybe even two months ago and um, i can't even maybe i can't even see yeah because it was drawn all the way up to there so that's uh, in january somewhere i drew it and i told you guys yes there's red um this band will go down and come up and in between somewhere we will break into it and every time when we break into it that is a very exciting moment because if we look back the moment that we broke into it that was over here that was over there that was over here and, and every time we broke into the Gaussian channel it was a very bullish move the moment we break out of it like all the way up to the top that is the moment that when we see it turns into green again and that greenish is always representing the huge bull run so here this greenish part bull run this was a short bull run this was a longer bull run if we turn green again here you can expect the next huge bull run the cool part is and the first time from when we switch from green to red it took 70 bars to break into that red Gaussian channel the second time when we switched from green to red it took 51 bars to break into that Gaussian channel and now the third time that we are breaking from green to red uh, and breaking into it again it's taking 59 bars so it's like an average of both times 70 and 51 59 is almost the average of those two so yes it's not a strange move that Bitcoin is doing and we can see um, if we zoom in a little bit more that it's very beautiful breaking in a fine resistance probably here at the midline mostly come back a little bit and then again go up and then breaking that top line and then test that top line as a support and the the moment it turns into support so this top line of course uh, would be th that's going to be a difficulty to draw the same so the top line will be going something like this of course and turning up it is like really bad drawing but then we will resistance maybe come back again maybe break down and then you find support there and then bam that's the bull run don't look at the times that i'm drawing this is just like a very terrible two-year-old <laughs> drawing by a kid uh, but that's how it normally moves guys so uh, really beautiful to see now let's zoom out a little bit more here to the bitcoin monthly chart 
Uh, also this chart for the ones that follow this channel already for longer um, they have seen this chart many 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 times before I think already for more than one and a half year I've been putting this chart on the screen for you guys to zoom out in Bitcoin and to show the bigger picture and the bigger moves and at the moment we can see that these bigger moves are again called by the bam bam indicator and yes the bam bam indicator in my opinion is very powerful when it comes to longer terms like there is only a few times that the bam bam indicator called for a long. This is one over here in the left corner. That is the second time over there, the third time over there, and now the fourth time over here. So this fourth time over here now that we created by closing that candle very beautiful um, above that purple line, almost at the red line, the 200 weekly moving average, this didn't happen many times before and every time when it called that one that was a beautiful start um, of the bull run and that is beautiful to see over here the long bam here the long bam and again the long bam and now again along where there can be a bam that is how Bitcoin normally moves. Does this mean that Bitcoin can't retrace anymore? Yes, of course it can retrace. Of course, there's a lot of resistance. We can, you, we are fighting that tunnel weekly moving average now here. It's the weekly moving average on the monthly chart. So we are fighting that one. If we are able to break that one, then we go to the yellow line. That's a 26,700. If we break that one, we go to the blue line over there, 35K. And if we break that one, then we go all the way to the top again. And it's now a 60K, but that will be increasing uh, the moment that we will be going up of course so is a monthly chart every candle is a month so yes we need to be very patient uh, to see the new bull run confirmation and everything but if we calculate everything um, that is on the chart so if we calculate the history and um, then we can see on the bottom of the chart i, I gave some beautiful um beautiful uh, numbers there and um, if i zoom out a little bit more like this so you can see them now we can see that from the bottom to the halving took 18 bars here it took 16 bars now it took 15 bars from the bottom to new ultimate high, the first time took 27 bars the second time took 24 bars this time from the bottom to a new all-time high how many bars is it going to be is it going to be 24 bars it's a new all-time high we are talking about we are talking about new all-time highs so a newer high higher than the 70k now the next stop that should be 17 17 months after the halving because if we look back it was 12 months after the halving the first time the second time was 17 months after the halving the time the last time was again 17 bars after the halving the top so if it would take another 17 bars after the next halving to the top we would somewhere be in between august and september 2025 and that doesn't mean that we will break that all-time high earlier that could be already over here and in october 24 or september 24 we can break the previous all-time high and then we will have that last part of the blow-off that will create a new complete all-time high of the bull run cycle again also on the bottom we can see beautifully here the macd turning less and less and less and will flip green somewhere on the monthly again and when it flips green of course it's a confirmation as well miss mostly a little bit lagging but still it's a confirmation beautiful chart now let's quickly jump into some more interesting charts to show you guys and um, the first one is bam over here uh, this one is a very simple one um, you can see that every time that the MVRV Z score also talked about this many times when it's negative and turning positive from the moment it's turning positive you get this huge bull run here again it turned negative then it turned positive that was the beginning of that huge bull run here again it turned negative now it's turning positive this is the moment that's the beginning of that next bull run and mostly that's indicated by a huge pump by a huge pump by a huge pump before we go completely nuts okay beautiful chart now here this is the chart um, that the bears always like the bears are always bears they will always be bears that's why they are called bears they are always uh, bearish they want the market to go down i don't know why people even would be bearish because if you look at this chart they only have a fun time it's almost only, to only 12 months here 12 months to have fun and be bearish and again 12 months to have fun and be bearish and again 12 months to have me fun and to be bearish we as the bulls we almost have a two-year cycle to be bullish or sometimes even three years we have a two-year cycle again to be bullish so beautiful to be a bull there's way more fun in it now uh, and the bears always say ah it's a fake out 
at 2025, I was there, they said, it's a fake out, we would go lower to zero. We didn't, we went up. Here also, 2019, it's a fake out, the bear said, yes, we went all the way up here to 14k, and yes, we had that COVID, COVID dip over there again to 4k or something like that, but it wasn't a fake out, it was just continuing of the bull market. And now again, you hear those bears shouting to you guys on Twitter and everywhere, on social media, it's a fake out. Yes, we could come to retest that line again, and we go up after again, and it's the start of the bull run. Just accept it, because if you look at this chart as well, um, I think this one is by Stock Money Lizards, yeah, Stock Money Lizards, uh, also showing you exactly that. You like every time the bears and the news and everyone else that is negative is telling you Bitcoin has never, never had this, never had that, never had this. So Bitcoin had never experienced such a massive security issue issue before Mt. Gox, and they said now it's going to be destroyed and going to zero. That said the bears, it didn't. We had a huge bull, 121 times the price. Now, then the second time, they said, Bitcoin has never feared the threats of a large-scale international bans before. China was banning it, many other countries were banning it, and that would be a disaster for Bitcoin and going to zero. We did it. We had a huge bull run, 20 times. And now again, you hear the bill shouting, Bitcoin has never been in a recession before. Yeah, there is a huge recession. At least, that is what the news is telling you. The news is telling you there is a huge recession and all the normal people or sheeple, however you call them, they are believing this. Oh, it's a huge recession. 2023 is going to boast me the most negative year ever. But the rich are going to become richer again because they don't look at that news, they just buy. They buy when there's blood on the streets. And that is what you should have been doing the last couple of months. Still can do because around 20K is still a very cheap price if we again go times 10 or maybe even times 5 from this level is enough to make a shit little profit for you. Now, um, then we have one more chart over here and this is the last one because I really love to show this to all those people that always believe in the traditional markets and want to play it safe. Uh, at least they think they can play it safe or something. I don't know what they are thinking. They are not my type of people probably. Um, but they think that they are smarter than the new people, the young people that are supporting the evolution of technology and by that uh, also the evolution of um, the assets in that technology like Bitcoin. Michael strategy is a little bit different than all those people. They said, ah, we are going to adapt the Bitcoin standard as a company and see what it does with us. Now, this is micro strategy. 117% was their stock performance since August 10 in 2020. That's when MicroStrategy adapted its Bitcoin strategy. They are 170% up. Bitcoin is 98% up. Look at all the rest. S&P, only 23. Nasdaq, only 8. Gold, bonds, silver, they are minus. The big tech stocks, Google, 36, 29, 21. The rest is minus 25, minus 33, minus 42. And then we have enterprise stocks here, Oracle, 64, doing pretty well, 11%, IBM, and then these two sub, even 20, minus 25. So those people that are still believing in all that traditional stocks and all that stuff, yes, they will still make money, but they are not going to make as much money as we, the new people that are supporting this evolution of a decentralized technology that has the peer-to-peer -peer power to transact value all over the world, Bitcoin, uh, we will, of course, make way more return on investments because we understand it. I can still see people sharing stuff about Warren Buffet and all those other people that could be your great, 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 great grandfather. Um, would you ask your great 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 grandfather uh, questions about um, email and all that stuff or you know about the newest evolution of technology that is going to replace the complete monetary system i don't think so no guys you don't ask them about the new technology evolution you ask them information about those stocks that made them rich and that was in their time it was this gold bond silver all of these here amazon that was what made them rich that's for, because they were the early adopters of that technology evolution the internet for example that you know gave us the option to buy google and all that stuff and here gold is of course the most traditional investment didn't do very well now but it did do well in the past and in the past those old time old school investors this they were believing in something that at that time was still new for other ones so for them they then were the young people that said, wow, we are going to invest in this new thing, internet, Amazon, Google, that you can find things in the new technology, internet. And I think that Google will go up in value. And then you had the traditional investors at that time, they were telling to those people, nah, 
ah, that's no, that's nothing. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't touch that, Warren. And then Warren said, yes, I do it. And then, bam, they become rich because of investing in that new technology. Now they are too old to understand the blockchain technology and the evolution that we are going through in the monetary system. And so for them now to invest, it's too risky. But for the youngsters, they understand where the world is going in a decentralized way. They understand, guys, um, that we are not going anywhere but up with these new technology assets. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? I wish you an amazing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I don't think I will be making videos or something really strange must be happening because I need some time to do some cool stuff with my family's home. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.